y'all. Well, here we are in my truck. The same place I made a somewhat similar video to this uh, over a year and a half ago, November 2018. When I came on here and said a big fat thank you to all of my 1,000 subscribers at the time, I had just hit a thousand and I never thought I would see that day. And now here I am in June. Yeah, I think it's June. <laughs> June 2020. Uh, and I don't know, I'm somewhere over 56,000. 56,000 of you have not only watched, but liked what you saw enough to hit that subscribe button. And that means the world to me. Seriously. Um, I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would be a YouTuber. Mm -mm. Um, didn't see that one coming. When I quit my job, my corporate sales job over six years ago and came home to the farm, I didn't have a plan B. I really didn't. I just knew that I needed a change and I only needed one person support and that was my husband and he gave it to me and I gave up a lot but what I've gained is so much more from being home with my kids and being able to take a larger role on the farm with him and learn and do things that um, I never thought I would be doing or or know how to do or grow into a place of loving to do and when I started sharing some videos on YouTube um, basically I just wanted to to tell a part of our story and in a way keep a video diary for my kids to have later in life to be able to look at back on and and show their kids I hope and uh, yeah so that is still the heart of why I'm here and why I share and I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for being here. I want to say thank you for being here through the really good and the really not so good. Because we definitely have had those days, those months, <laughs> those seasons. Um, and we will continue to. But my YouTube community has really grown into a family. I really do. Feel like y'all are family and the larger the community has gotten yes it's gotten harder for me to keep up with all the comments and all the messages um but i do try to read all of them or most all of them i try really hard and i try to respond when i can but i just want you to know from the bottom of my butter loving sleeve wearing heart that I appreciate you and I'm so glad you're here and it's not lost on me that you have a million other other places you could spend your time other channels you can watch and I know you watch a lot of other channels too and you follow a lot of other amazing farm channels and and now friends of mine people I've gotten to know and love and meet um, which has been amazing as well but just the fact that you take the time to come in here and share a piece of your day with us sharing a piece of ours means the world to me. It means the, means the world to our family. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you've been around since the beginning, that is awesome that you've stuck around this long. If you just found me and my family yesterday, welcome. <laughs> welcome to our crazy, sometimes crazy life. Um, we really do love this way of life and what we get, get to do for a living. And I really love being able to put these videos together and share them with you. And yeah, four minutes and 42, three, four seconds <laughs> into this. Um, I did just want to come on here and, and do a thank you video and tell you thank you. And um, let me know, you know, what if you've learned something. I'd love to hear what you've learned about us showing this way of our life or, 
your favorite things or what you'd like to see more of and we will try to keep pumping out the content um it's it's just kind of a you know it comes as it comes and on the farm things change and we're always doing or moving into something different or having to go back and redo something that we did <laughs> because of weather or whatever it is but um I do want to say thank you I appreciate you we appreciate you and we look forward to more days together farming hard and living well so I hope you're doing well we hope you're doing well and staying safe in these very somewhat uncertain times um, and I hope that this can continue to be a place for you to come and relax and uh, or stay stay busy with us as we stay busy on the farm and and continue to try to to show you more about just a regular old farm family out here in North Carolina doing our thing, raising our cows, raising our kids, and um, your support your encouragement in all the ways, whether it's through a like or a comment or a subscribe or um, supporting our merchandise and products that I have available in the store. It all means so much. The gifts, all the wonderful gifts that I've gotten from so many of you, it all means the world. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to go home. I just went to the barley field to try to get some photos with my, what I call my big girl camera, but the sun had already gone down. I'll explain my hand here in a second. I had already gone down behind the tree line, so I really couldn't get any good photos. But while I was out there, I happened to spot a very large thistle. A thistle is a weed. Um, I remember when I first moved here, I had bird feeders everywhere and I wanted to feed the finches. So I came home with a bag of thistle seed. Uh -uh, that didn't go over very well because thistles are weeds. Thistle seeds grow thistles, which are weeds and which are not good in crops for crops okay so um around here thistles don't get to live so i was just out in the barley field and i saw this really big thistle so normally lawrence i've showed it before where he will go out there and cut them um sometimes he'll burn them but anyway i didn't have a pocket knife on me okay so that's really the moral of the story don't leave home without a pocket knife but I began to try to take the roots out and I kicked it really hard with my boot. I should have videoed that, but I didn't because I was too intent on, on getting rid of this thistle. And I kicked and I kicked and then I started pulling and then it started tearing up my hands. And um, But at this point, I was committed that I was going to get this thistle out of the barley field. And I did. Do you want to see? Okay, good. Let me show you. I decided it was like prize worthy enough to actually bring home so I could show Lawrence what I'd done. I mean, I think he'll be proud. Are you ready? Look at that bad boy. Look what I caught tonight. See those things? They're very prickly. They hurt when you try to take them out of the ground and it's a very strong root. So I kind of had to like pull it apart it wasn't pretty, but I did it, and uh, yeah, we'll just chalk that up to another little lesson. Put the pocket knife in your pocket, Meredith, before you leave the house in case you come across a thistle. Okay, maybe that could be words of wisdom for somebody else out there, and if not, well, thanks for listening. All right, thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, girls and boys. <laughs>